Experts have today warned that people can't just rely on outside organisations, but need to protect themselves from future floods, as James Robertson reports. With its rippling brook running through the middle, East Leak was a peaceful picture today. But these pictures show how constant rain such as we're currently enduring have in the past turned the brook into a lake. It has been very serious. The road's been flooded, up to the houses has been flooded and uh, sandbags have had to be used and it's caused great concern. But today Mike Peverell, who works for all the East Midlands councils as a climate change expert, was showing me what a little self-help can do. The brook has now been cleared and its banks strengthened with help from staff at nearby British Gypsum, working with the parish council. They provided a labour force of volunteers to come and clear out overgrown vegetation that was all along the stream here, which is contributing to the stream flooding. But flood prevention can be sorted before building. The Hamilton estate in North Leicester was one of the first in Britain designed with a special drainage system that retains water. The whole purpose of what we've tried to do here is retain the water on site for as long as possible through a mixture of swales and ponds so that we restrict the flow and that the water seeps in more slowly into the watercourse. Therefore, the watercourse doesn't rise rapidly and we don't flood people downstream. Residents here also pay towards maintaining the drainage system. Now, Mike Peverell says more organisations need to take control of flood prevention, as government and emergency organisations no longer have the money or staff to provide all the help. As we've seen in the southeast, people are kind of standing around waiting for somebody to turn up, and very often they simply don't have the numbers of staff to be able to do that. So individual resilience is really important. The resilience of an individual business matters, and it's up to that business itself to assess its risks and then put in place things which will help to improve and reduce the risk. James Robeson, BBC East Midlands, today.